Good morning guys. It is the 26th of December today and hopefully we're going to start harvesting some wheat. Well everybody, I hope that uh, you managed to have a good Christmas day. Um, There's going to be a short break for us, just had the nice little rest day yesterday which was awesome. We're just going to move back to home at the moment. Hopefully get cracking on some wheat, I mean a week ago when we tried it the straw was just still way too green in it and well the moisture in the grain was too high as well but we've had a pretty fine week so just hoping that it goes. Um, I got up pretty early this morning to beat the heat. It's supposed to be about 40 degrees today, so it's going to be hot. And it's about time. Uh, we've been waiting for a few heat units for a while, so if there's any green left in that wheat, these days it'll sure suck it out of there. So This thing's actually due for its 50 hour service again, so like I said, just thought I'd get up really early this morning and get it cleaned down a bit and get it back home and get, uh, get on top of all that side of it. Still hate blowing out the radiator! That's always the best way to start off your day. Nice and itchy for the rest of it. But anyway, let's see if we can uh, track down the old man maybe and move some gear. Morning, Dad. Yeah. Morning. Oh, yeah, I think he's got a lot Yeah, right. Put the two poles together, line them up and... Use Are you guys going to be all right if I go with the old boy? Yeah. 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 Um, I am just dying to get the header into this and see what sort of grain quality we, grain quality we have because I have my doubts, I seriously have my doubts, I think we're going to have some problems here. The good news is the straw is starting to, it's still not crispy but it's, it's certainly drying out, you know. It's getting, it's getting crispy, but it's yeah, it's a little bit on the tough side still. I am very glad that I got up at 5.30 this morning because it is getting toasty as out there already. I am going to see if I can get someone else to run me back up and get the firefighter and maybe even the uh, chaser bin and bring that back too because Dad's got to go on a water run today, check sheep waters because it's very hot and obviously you don't want sheep to run out of water, especially when it's that hot. Turn the aircon off. Alright, that's the firefighter, the header, now we just need to get the chaser bin. Thanks mate. Right, we'll chuck some grease in the header. Everything's back here. I guess I might need to drag a field bin or two around yet, but first thing first, first things first, I need to get a sample out of that paddock anyway and take it to the silo, because I don't know, even driving past those two paddocks, you look at it and it's just not really a nice color that wheat, and I, I don't really know why. But anyway, all right, grease, let's do it. Now, it's about every 100 hours that you gotta check these chains. And uh, I think these will probably need a little bit of adjustment to get us through. That one's not too bad. The uh, repeat chain is a little bit 
that one definitely needs some adjustment that's uh, getting a little bit loose so we'll nip those up while we're here and then we're just about done All right, I think we're good. Go get some food, some water. We'll go connect up, get a sample. We're gonna have to go to Gladstone and get that checked. Oh, it's gonna be a big day. Well, got some water, got some food in the belly. We'll go out and take a sample and see what's going on there. But I mean, can you imagine if I did not drag myself out of bed this morning at like 530? It's already nearly midday and uh, there's not been a lot happened so far, so anyway, good times guys, let's get into it. Alright guys, here we go. I've got my sample and I've got to admit it doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm going to run this straight over to Gladstone I think and see what grade it's doing. Make sure we haven't got too many screenings, make sure we haven't got any unusual problems with the grain which seemed to be around this year because it was so wet. There's definitely some smaller grain in there but I think when I repped out this little spot here by the gate Maybe, you know, it just didn't get a good dose of fungicide when I was turning the corner and um, therefore there's just a bit of small stuff there, but yeah, there's still a bit in here, but we might get away with it. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Well, I just ran a manual moisture test on this and it uh, came up at 7.7%, so it's fair to say the moisture's come down a long way in the last four or five days. Oh, I just smacked my head, of course, didn't I? The straws chopping up okay it's better than it was the other day but still a bit tough it's not too bit quiet is it need to get down there well, it's not too bad here really hey, two lanes isn't it or three got my uh chauffeur here i'm out of beer <laughs> <laughs> And the bloke, he goes, we found out who the bloke was that rang up and said, um, and said, with me, and the bus, he goes, it wasn't even him, he just thought he might have. <laughs> <laughs> so basically the update is that they're too busy at the silo to do my sample, of course. So I've just left it there and they're going to get it done as soon as they get some time. Um, but in the meantime, we are going to get the barley out of the chaser bin and put that in the truck. We're going to take the truck up to the header. We're going to empty the, what's in the header out of the header into the truck to clean the barley out of the header. And then we're going to bring the truck back, take the chaser bin up there. Anyway, you guys will see. <laughs> Hot diggity, it is warm today. Man, I am just sweating just sitting here at the moment. Harvest out a little spot here for the bins and then uh, some more shuffling is required, I think. Rightio, what's my thoughts here? Sample looks... Pretty darn good, I think. It seems to be a little hard to separate this stuff this year. Scepter's normally pretty good, but all the weather on it, I think it's just made it a bit sticky, unfortunately. But that wheat looks pretty good. I'm fairly happy with that. Well, considering when I rubbed out a few heads and what I thought it looked like, this looks a lot better. As you can see, there's a bit of unseparated stuff there coming through. But you know what? I absolutely do not care because if they accept it at the silo, that's all I need. But what I am thinking here at the moment is this straw is still green. A bit green, it is tough. We are after Christmas, man. This is ridiculous. As you can see, 
just leaving a bit of a windrow in spot still. I know I'm going low here because we're going to take all the, we're going to put bins and stuff here, but to be honest, the crop's that heavy and that thick, I don't know that I want to go much higher. This needs a good, all of today and tomorrow on it to really get it to where it needs to be, I think. We'll see how much grain we're turfing out the back, probably heaps. Hmm, I don't like seeing that. That's uh, unseparated heads going out the back. Looks like a screening or a cracked grain there. I think I might need to close my concave up a little bit. There seems to be a little bit of this stuff coming out the back. Speed my rotor up. I don't seem to be cracking any grain, but I don't like seeing that unseparated stuff coming out the back. And that is why you hop out and have a look around. It just is going to be a bit sticky and a bit hard to separate. We are going to absolutely hog through the fuel in here. It is going to be thirsty work. It is a little green, it's a huge crop, it's hard to separate. All the ingredients are there for us to just chew through it, and we have been chewing through it. We always thought this machine, like after coming out of the CTS, was really great on fuel, but this year, wow we. We're putting it through, through its paces, that's for sure. Still haven't heard anything from the silo, which is to be expected. Honestly, they were that busy, but it's a bit annoying nonetheless because it's almost four o'clock. But I think we got some trouble in paradise, guys. I think the fan belt on this machine is squealing. Um, it seems to grip up after the engine revs have been up for a while, but I know that it's a common problem on these that the pulley on the crank gets worn down by the belt, and then the belt starts slipping, and there's nothing you can do to you change the pulley. I think that is what is going on right now, but I'm not sure. I think I'm going to have to hop out after this and have a look when I unload next. We'll have a bit of a listen, see if we can't track it down. Because once I'm going, I can't. I don't hear it. Like, so when, it, like, when I put the machine into separator into gear and all that, it squeals, takes up, squeals, takes up, and then it just stops doing it. So I don't know. It's annoying though, and it also like, I don't know. You probably can't see very well, but it some sort of thundery clouds building up which was not really expected today so anyway don't know we'll have to uh see what happens also spotting with rain at the moment. It's definitely the fan belt. You can hear the fan slow down as it happens. I'm not keen to continue with that like that in case it smokes the belt or something. Yeah. Well I think our day might be done guys and it looks like it's about to be done anyway by that rain over there so but we got trouble in paradise. The header is down. Um, I know for a fact that it's going to need a new crank pulley and I know for a fact that nobody around here is going to have one. I don't know, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised, but I always say when you have a problem and you need parts in Australia, three days minimum because nobody keeps anything in stock and it'll probably have to come from Melbourne if they even have anything at the moment because that's been a bit of a challenge as well. But we can't keep running that belt like that. Um, I can hear it squealing, like I said, not all the time, especially when I start off if I've stopped for some reason. Um, and you can hear the fan slow down when it does it. Um, it really starts slowing down. And a fan belt and a pulley is a lot cheaper than, a, than an engine. So I think we better just pull up for now. And it's a shame though, because you know, we've got 40 degrees nearly again tomorrow and we could have got through a lot of this wheat, which is really frustrating, but there's nothing you can do about it, is there, unfortunately? So yeah, oh well, I think we'll pack up and call it a day. Chase some parts up in the morning. In other news, guys, the uh, 
Draper belt with half the guide lug missing appears to be holding on for, for dear life. Um, yeah, it's still running fine, it's running true, it's it's doing what it's supposed to and that just, yeah, I'm not getting like an, un, it's not slipping down that way too far or anything like that, sort of holding its gap and all that sort of thing. So I think it just makes me believe that this belt was poorly made, like really poorly made. Because I'm sure I'd know about it by now if one of those bearings was out. And uh, she's still running sweet. And I, like I said, I had a feel of them anyway, and I couldn't feel anything wrong with them. So that's an annoying, probably $1,000 problem that you shouldn't have. So hashtag farming. Oh, the drama, the emotion. It's all happening here. It's all happening. And last year, <laughs> last year, I didn't even break a knife section. I did not have any downtime. I changed the radiator cap one morning, and that was it. Take me back to those days. But I guess you gotta take the good with the bad, eh? Oh, but I'll be on the prowl in the morning and I'll, I'll be happy to throw a belt on there and I think that might cure the issue for a few days. But uh, ultimately we'll have to get some other bits and pieces, but it looks like I might be going for a drive in the morning. So yeah, wheat harvest is off to an absolute cracking start, but at the end of the day, if that's the worst breakdown that we're gonna have, mate, I'll take that. That's, uh, that's a fairly easy one. We'll get on top of it. Do you want to just leave that tractor there or? Uh, I'll just... Or you want to? I'll just spin it around because I won't be able to roll the tarp the way it is. Oh, rightio. Is there still some in there? Oh, about half a ton. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got um, good weather today. Well, it was supposed to be good. It looks a bit stormy out there now, but uh, it's supposed to be good tomorrow as well. And then Wednesday, there's a few showers, so potentially just a couple of mils so look if we missed out on tomorrow uh we're probably going to miss out on wednesday anyway so it won't be the end of the world we'll uh survive but you know if i gotta go for a drive in the morning and get some parts then we'll do that and see if we can get going tomorrow and get a few more acres off can't believe these storms that have brewed up yeah. a lot in them, but I, think. I don't care if that straw cops another day of heat anyway yeah not gonna hurt it I was surprised when I came up, I thought, oh yeah, it looks like it's dried out a bit, and then you get to another spot and you go, no. Nah, nah, there's still plenty of green in there, yeah. Well, I think that will probably be about all for today, everybody. Thank you very much, as always, for tuning in and watching the, the videos. I really appreciate it. Have a good one, and we'll see you in the next one.